Breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer amongst women in Australia. Chances are you know someone who has it. You might love someone who's battling it right now. You might have lost someone to this dreadful disease. Imagine if this could all be stopped before it was too late. Just imagine. Well, that might soon be a reality and it's absolutely mind-blowing. A fingerprint could be all it takes to detect the disease. That's it, no need for a mammogram or x-rays. And it's all thanks to the incredible research and work of our next guest. And she's joining me live from London, Professor Simona Francese from the Sheffield Hallam University. Simona, thank you so very much. Tell me, how can this be true? Good morning. Yes, yeah, certainly this is what our data suggests uh, from our proof of concept study on a small cohort of, uh, of patients. And we can identify patients with uh, metastatic and early um, breast cancer um, with the 98% of um, accuracy of prediction. Uh, so now the study needs to be validated with a much larger cohort of patients in order to implement it into, into practice. It just, it feels so foreign to someone who's not in that field. How do you stumble across something like this? And I know that's probably offensive to your art when I say stumble across, but where does it come from? No, that's actually the correct wording. I did stumble across <laughs> uh, <laughs> this new field uh, because I've been working in uh, forensic science for 15 years and I've been working with fingerprints. So one of the things we were trying to do is to ascertain whether you can determine the sex of an individual just from the molecular composition of a fingerprint. And so we were looking at proteins to do this kind of job, which, you know, we are reasonably successful uh, in doing. Uh, but then I stumbled upon this, uh, a bunch of proteins that I'd read in the scientific literature to be indicated as potential biomarkers of, of breast cancer. So I went back to my bioscience uh, sort of background and I thought this could potentially be a game changer really. So I um, got together with an oncologist and a computer scientist. We looked at uses of artificial intelligence and with the technique that I was already using to help investigators uh, narrow down the pool of suspect, have put together a methodology whereby uh, patients uh, came to us just swiping uh, their fingertips on a surface and uh, we detected uh, these protein profiles that are quite distinctive of people that have a benign pathology or early cancer or metastatic. That is absolutely mind-blowing. You know, the thing with mammograms, they do their job but they can be uncomfortable. They are often quite painful for women. Depending on the size of your breasts as well, it can make it very difficult to do, right? Absolutely right. This is why we are so excited about this test. And in our uh, vision, initially, we don't intend to go full way. We don't intend to replace mammograms. We need to ascertain uh, uh, definitively the sensitivity of our, our non-invasive screening. But in the future, if this proves to be what we are seeing, uh, then it could even replace mammograms. And the implications for um, patients, but also for the health systems are huge mm. because you're really saving resources and, and money um, and reduce the backlog. And you know you don't need to send everyone to do a mammogram um, if the person is, is clear. So huge implications. Yeah, I know I'm getting old when this kind of stuff really excites me. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for your work and fingers crossed, fingers, that it all works out for you and in which case works out for all of us. So, Professor Simona Francesi, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.